wouldn't just jump off now and save us all the time. Ah! Ah! My hair! Ah! Let go or you're dead meat, Tweety! Ah! Cheer on, guys! That's right, Heather, no mercy! Serve her up a hot, steaming bowl of humiliation! Your chances of winning are just about as real as your boyfriend! cheer for my school principal, my mother, Lashana. Hmm, okay, that's really low. Hey, while we're fighting, they're working on whipping our butts. Time! Huh, I wish we could vote off Courtney. Girls got game, that's for sure. I say we vote off Duncan. He's super strong, and as much as Courtney would hate to admit it, it'd probably kill her. Kill two jerks with one stone, I like it. But there's only three of us. We can't do it on our own. Leave it to me. Psst. Harold! We have to get rid of Duncan. Tell me something I don't know. My boyfriend Brady has two dogs named Steve. Really? There's four of us. Vote for him, and he's gone. Psst. Harold! Yeah, you're right. I was just kidding. Justin's actually the one who's been eliminated. Courtney? Beth? Lindsay? Princess Beth is so cute! Is no one even gonna miss me? I sure am glad you're back, Owen. <laughs> Guys, over here! Ladies, what's up? Beth and I have been thinking about who to vote off. Since we can't lose Courtney, we're thinking Duncan. Only one left. The final Gilded Chris goes to... Duncan! Going bye-bye. But, Lindsay, Harold and I voted for Duncan. Not so. In fact, what happened is a first for the show. A contestant accidentally voted themselves off. What? Take a look. Unlike me, the camera never lies. Well, Brady and I are going to bed. Don't you want to stay up for a bit? We could watch a rom-com on my PDA. No, thanks. Cheese poodles? Sour grannies? Tempting. But I'm never gonna form an alliance with you so you can find another sucker. I've fallen for enough fake friendships to know better. Y'all are gonna use those plates to cook a meal fit for a warrior. Kung Fu noodle soup. Hey, this is what she gets for trying to manipulate me into forming an alliance. Two can play that game. Well, I guess I could take care of all the fish. You know, as a friend. Ah! Thanks! I'll go boil the noodles! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Oh, stupid jellyfish! Ah! You're so lucky to have a PDA. It sure would be nice to talk to my sweetie Brady. Go ahead and call him! Ah! After all, that's what friends do! They help each other with phones and alliances! More tea, best friend. After you, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about the two of us forming a girl alliance? Great idea! Nice going, ladies. It was your quick thinking that saved the group. Yes! Score one for the Girl Alliance. Right, Courtney? Yay for us. As a reward, you'll both get to decide the order of who goes first to last at the next challenge. Ooh, I know. Let's you and I go first. That way we can... Uh, yeah, we 
decided, Chris. The order will be Harold, Owen, Duncan, Beth, and last but not least, me. Oh. Oh. Ew! Way to go, partner! 23 seconds! Most impressive, Duncan, my man. But I'm deducting 10 seconds for puking. Ugh. That was totally disgusting! How could you do that to me? At least the ride snapped my spine back into place. No more pain. Wanna bet? It's down to you two. Beth, your slightly soiled chariot awaits. If we both refuse to do the challenge, then we'll have strength in numbers at the elimination ceremony. You're with me on this, right, Beth? If I can take the plunge and say yes to Brady, then surely I have the strength of will needed to climb into a vomit-coated spacesuit and get hurled around like a rag doll for five minutes. They're practically the same thing, right? What's it gonna be, Beth? Um, the Girl Alliance is sticking together, Chris. We're both refusing to participate. I'll do it! <gasps> I can't believe you went against me like that! You deserved it for being so mean and bossy towards me! Oh, well, if that's how you feel, the Girl Alliance is over! Fine! Fine! Sharpen those claws and cast your votes. Someone is going home for the last time. Owen betrayed us, but Courtney's the bigger threat. Courtney, since Beth and Duncan both voted for you, it's time for your ride home. Owen, I'll deal with you in a moment. What? Duncan voted for me? Ugh! 35 and a half seconds! A new Vomit Comet record! In light of Beth's willingness to get her feet wet, so to speak, I declare her the winner of today's challenge! Yes! Beth and her raccoon! Nice one! You were the first team to arrive. Beth and her raccoon buddy easily won the challenge, which means invincibility. Beth gets a free pass into the final three. Beth! Just tell me! Who was voted out first and why? You mean Jeff and Bridget? And where was the weirdest place they ever... Made out? Oh, my gumdrops. Bridget used to tell this crazy story, but the terrible surprise made poor little Trent wet his pants in front of everyone. Right? You're right. Yeah! Gwen's lizards are named Angus and Vampira. Now what? <sighs> Is that enough of an answer, Chef? What kind of host are you? I'm away! Chef Stalling has dug a big hole for Beth. Duncan's got a five-challenge lead. Stalling? You mean I didn't have to answer all those follow-up questions? Run, Beth. Run like the wind. It's still anybody's game, folks. Kaleidoscope thought she was 87 years old and the reincarnation of her own granny. Owen actually has 139 favorite foods. In alphabetical order, there's Alaskan king crab, American cheese, apples, apple cobbler, apple crisp, apple pie. Bah! Bah! We'll go for Boom Boom! His own aunt, Lady Mimi CCDD Laduda. The space movie victim question is... I know! Sweet Harold left after the space challenge. Fine! You can go on! Forget it, Beth. Go on without me. Beth, if your retainer wasn't so vile, I'd kiss you. That's okay. I have a boyfriend. The season two total drama winner is... Beth! Wow. wow! He's not only real, he's really handsome! Now I wish I didn't vote for her. Our season two winner, Beth! She gets one million dollars! <laughs>